Uh, now, the next guest is the only person in the UK, possibly the world, to have changed gender not once, not twice, but three times. Uh, born Sam Hashimi, uh, the divorced father of two, underwent gender reassignment surgery in age 37 in 1997 and became known as Samantha Kane. Uh, but after seven years as Samantha in 2004, she made the decision to transition back into a man and began identifying as Charles Kane. But her happiness was short-lived and in 2018 she became Samantha once again after undergoing her third round of gender reassignment surgery. Mm -hmm. Samantha says she's now finally comfortable in her own skin and joins us in the studio to tell us her story. Oh, welcome. Thank you for Thank joining you. us, Samantha. Thank you for having me. And so thank this... you for letting us share those Absolutely. photos as well. Yeah. Thank you no, so that's, much. that's perfectly fine. Thank you. So, uh, and we, we might add uh, your correct title, a new version of Samantha Kane is Lady of the Manor now, is this correct? Well, la Lady Samantha Kane of Carbisdale Castle. I'm quite right too, <laughs> absolutely. And you actually, you just bought a castle. Well, yes, I, I, bought, I bought a castle, I, I mean, well, in, in Scotland, if you, <gasps> if you own a... Look at that. ...an estate or, or a castle, mm -hmm. well, you, you, you are then a lady or a lord well, of I that love castle. This. What's your title again? Samantha. Lady Samantha Kane of Carbisdale Castle. Oh, Carbisdale Castle. It sounds very yeah, Game of so Thrones, doesn't amazing. it? I love it. Yes. I want to be so, a lady. <laughs> I want to be a lady. Castle. Yeah. Uh, so lovely to meet you. Thank you. Um, we would love to hear your story. Can we go back to the beginning and tell me about the initial transition? Well, I mean... Uh, I, th I thought you were talking about the castle. <laughs> <laughs> we were. We're through the castle now, don't worry. <laughs> yes. Um, well, basically, I, I, well, I, when, when I was born in, in, the, in, in those days, in, this, in the 1960s mm -hmm. in the Middle East, it, it was difficult. If, if, you, if you're ambiguous about your gender, they, they normally get you to be a boy because the boy is the preferred gender, as it were, and they keep, you know, suppressing any femininity mm. out of me, really. Um, and until I came to the UK, and then I, I kind of, even in the UK, when I came here in the 1970s, was very far and few between. Mm -hmm. um, so, so people who, who were born in the wrong uh, sex and in the wrong gender, um, you know, I was told, well, they could get some help yep. by actually, you know, corrective surgery and by, you know, hormones and, and whatever to, to be in, in their correct gender. Mm -hmm. And uh, but, but then I was quite a successful businessman and a father and I was kind of really, I, I couldn't leave, you know, the, the, the business world as it were. Um, yep. to, to, and, and, and then change gender back sure. in, the, in the 70s and the 80s. But if, eventually I, I did so. And uh, did that take a while? Did you speak to your family about that? Was it a, a, was it, yeah. a, was it a, a, a difficult conversation to have? Or and were you resolute then that this is what you wanted to do? Well, I mean, it's, it's a situation where, to be honest, um, it's just I had no choice. I don't think anybody kind of, uh, I mean, I hated being a transgender person. In fact, I really don't want to be remembered as mm -hmm. a transgender person. Mm -hmm. I wanted to remember as the, 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 the lady who renovated and then Carbisdale Castle. Mm -hmm. But, um, but I, I really, uh, as much as I, I hated to, to tell my then family, to tell them, look, I mean, this is who I am, I, I had to in the end, mm -hmm. which resulted obviously in, in um, in the family leaving, and I was on my own. Sure. And uh, all the extended family disowned me, and, and anybody who does business with me didn't want to do business. So it was really a very, very difficult time. I suppose quite a lonely time as well for you. It was, yes. But, but, but then, you know, um, really for me, the idea is, is, is not, to, not to give up, you know, to, to pick myself up and, 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 and do it again and prove myself to the world. So when you were the first iteration of Samantha, yeah. like, it seems to me you seem so happy in your skin yes, now. So, so when did you decide and why did you decide to, to make the change back and, and become Charles? Well, I mean, yes, uh, th then really kind of I, I went into some... In, in some sort of conversion therapy, and, and some even people from the medical profession were responsible, mm -hmm. as well as my children, you know, I really kind of missed them. I just wanted to get back to them. And then, you go, oh, well, you know, 
so I, I thought in my own mind that, well, look, if I'm getting this disrespect and that I'm, I'm really deprived of my, my children, uh, what about if I change back so I can actually, um, you know, uh, reunite with them? Mm -hmm. um, and, and this is really kind of, it was, I was told, look, you know, you better change back and this is not good and you can't change your sex, you can't change your gender. But in the end of the day, I, I really, to my detriment, it's, it's just, I had no choice. But did you think, mm -hmm. was that an instinctive decision to change back or did you have to think long and hard about transitioning back into a man? Well, well, no, I mean, I was kind of, I suppose, I, I acknowledged defeat at some stage. I right. said, well, look, I'll change back. Do you know what, Samantha? Mm. I, I love this story because you actually changed back to Charles because of yeah. love for your children. Mm -hmm. yeah, this yeah. is just a story of love, really. You loved your children so much, Absolutely. so you reverted back because you needed to be part of their lives. This I is really a beautiful story. I really needed to be part from their, their life. And I, I always, you know, was told they were embarrassed by me. And I thought, well, I mean, maybe it's unfair to them. Maybe what I'm doing is really kind of um, asking too much of them to expect their father as, as a, a woman. So, so yes, I, I'm afraid it was, uh, uh, well, a sacrifice. Um, but I just couldn't, couldn't really, couldn't do it, I'm afraid. How long did you spend as a man the second time? I know we've said Well, that. yeah, the second time, I think between 2004 to 2018. Long time. A long time, yes. So, what at what point did you realise? Do you know what? I don't feel right. I wanna, yes. I wanna revert back. At what point? Well, to be honest with you, like back in 2018, you know, like, like people start understanding the issue, and more people start coming up, and even women, um, you know, they were kind of more celebrated, and 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 really all the equality issues were well yeah. established, and. Um, and then I did have a word with, with my, my son at the time. And, and he said, you know what, if, you know, you shouldn't have done that. If, if, if that would make oh, you happy. That's so right. lovely. You, you should really, um, you know, be whatever make, making you happy effectively. So, Do you mind me asking, are you in are you, your relationship with your, with your children? Well, I mean, you see, with, with my children, I mean, the... the the, the bond unfortunately broken long time ago. So they actually uh, adult and they they grew up not really knowing me much. So so they have their own lives mm. and I have my own life mm. and and that's stuff like mm. that's how we are at the moment. Mm. And what about Samantha? Is she here to stay now? Definitely, Samantha here to stay. I mean, you know, I I kind of um, I read about like this Victorian lady. You know the the, the the lady who they built the castle for, you know, the Duchess of Sutherland. And she was a Victorian lady who, who against all odds, uh, went and built a castle and said, I'm here to stay. There she is, Lady Mary there. Yes, so I thought, well, you know, this is me really, because against all odds, I wanted to, to prove to the world that I'm, I'm here to stay. And, um, um, and Samantha is, um, I mean, I'm, I, I've, I found it a fascinating building, lovely place to be. And the people of the Highlands of Scotland, very welcoming, very understanding. Yeah. Um, and and I'm, I'm really very, very happy to be to be there. And I'm we're really happy happiness, for you. Yeah, yeah it's thank all about you. happiness. You know, I mean, after 40 years in the city, of London, <laughs> you know. Yeah, you deserve yes, it. Don't I, I, you yeah, have been through a lot. Samantha, <laughs> Lady Samantha, thank you for coming <laughs> on the show. Thank you. Thank, thank you so you much and good luck with everything. Thanks a lot.